section B is all about case studies. So, uh, and case studies is one portion where a lot of practice could be done. So, uh, you know, when I gave the GS4 paper, when I came out of the exam hall, I felt case study is a part which I have attempted well because I had the structure in mind and I just implemented that structure in while writing the answer. But I have to accept that you have to be very fast because, you know, you have to think about each and every argument and express itself. You could be really fast in, in thinking as well as writing. Section B, the case study, I won't read the entire case study. But yes, it's about Rakesh, who's a responsible district level officer and who enjoys the trust of his hired official. And the government has entrusted him with the responsibility of identifying the beneficiaries under some healthcare scheme. Now, the criteria has been given 60 years above, reserved community, family income less, and post treatment prognosis is likely to be high to make a positive difference in the quality of life of the beneficiary. Now, this is just the background. Note that this is just the background. You don't have to write much about this in your answer. You can, I just used points from this to substantiate my argument. This is just a background. The question starts now. So there's a couple, you know, and has a rare condition of obstruction in large intestine. And physical labor is unable to do. There are no children to the couple. So it satisfies the fact that uh, a contribution could make a substantial difference in their life. Yes, it, is, it mentions that the couple will have to bear the cost of incidental charges like hospitalization, etc. to the tune of rupees 1 lakh. The couple fulfills all the criteria except criteria B. So here it is, they, the couple does not belong to a reserved community. And uh, otherwise, they are above 60 years of age, the family income is less than 1 lakh, everything. However, any financial aid would certainly make a significant difference in the quality of life. Note this particular nudge. I feel that case studies have a nudge in them as well. Uh, that could be a trap also, but uh, we have to judge then and there whether or, whether or not it is, a, it is a positive nudge or a trap. So here I felt that however any financial aid would certainly make a significant difference in their quality of life, it's a kind of a nudge. Uh, I approached it this way. So the question is how should Rakesh respond to the situation? I opened up this case study by first mentioning who is Rakesh and what is his power circumference, what are his influence and what he can do. What I felt was, uh, you know, we should not write something which is not under his power and he's doing. So let us first chart out for ourselves ki who is Rakesh and what is he entrusted with and what all he can do. Now, uh, yeah, since the scheme is for senior citizens, that is something also we should mention here that he's entrusted with this responsibility. Then I moved on, secondly, to talk about, first about Rakesh, what is his position? His sphere of influence. Then I mention the stakeholders in this particular case. The couple was a senior citizen and Rakesh was to take a decision. And then the question is about how should Rakesh respond to the situation. Now I feel this was a question where we could develop our own options and then justify the option which we want to take. So I developed the first option as, you know, that Rakesh would straightforward refuse to take any action in this regard, conveying the fact that, you know, the couple does not fill the criteria of B. But the, for the pros, I said that procedurally it will be very sound. For the cons, I said that no, the real purpose of the scheme would be defeated because they won't be able to reach the people who are really poor. So yes, note the case that here, the expert surgeon whom they contact is willing to do the surgery without charging any fee. So they don't have to take, uh, the government does not have to take the entire responsibility of this couple. They just need some help from the government uh, to the tune of rupees 1 lakh. Then the second option that I created on, on, you know, I developed on that front was that Rakesh would try to help the couple at a personal level. Because if you won't be able to do it professionally, he'll be trying to do it personally. For that pros and cons, I also said that pros is that the help will be done but the cause is, cons is that, you know, he can't be, he can't continue doing this for all the people. And this is not something which could solve the entire situation. And then the last final option which I developed and which I justify that I would be taking is that Rakesh would be going through the procedural details and he would be making a specific case in this regard that this person has no children and any, any kind of, any kind of financial aid which could be provided to the tune of, uh, of one lakh. 
could make substantial difference because they're already getting the surgery done from another place for free. Yes, so I think this is a perfect case where a little bit of support from the government could change the uh, fate of that couple. And so uh, uh, talking about the criteria, I try to justify my point that I would be helping this couple by taking out some amount from this uh, from the fund that is available to identify the beneficiary because all the rest criteria are being fulfilled at utmost level. And this is a fit case for uh, for going that extra mile, I felt. And that is how I justified my answer and suit, uh, suitably concluded that uh, in order to reach the public end of public service delivery, as the scheme said, you know, uh, uh, senior citizens and uh, improving the health care for a person who's already doing physical labor in the society, you should be provided with a little bit of help for the future.